Good afternoon. Happy Sunday fun day to everyone. I hope everyone's having a blessed day. All honor and glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, today I just wanted to come on and do a little little frohawk chit chat. Um, I had my hair. Um, it just came out of a two strand twist and I'm old school so I roll it up on um, sponge rollers. I still use sponge rollers, yes. <laughs> and I love them because they're soft and I can sleep on them. Um, there's only one issue with sponge rollers is that you have to use them while your hair is moisturized or wet because the sponges can really, really dry your hair out. But um, this has been set for like two days and I just took it out this morning and untwisted it because I knew that would take way too much time um, while I was trying to make this video but yeah um, so I took it out and I picked it out a little bit and um, now I'm gonna try I've never done this on camera before but I'm going to try to put it in a fro hawk and um, if you notice my watermark on my videos, that's one of the um, pictures of me with my fro hawk. And I haven't done it in a while. And I think my hair has grown out a little bit more since the last time I did a fro hawk. So, you know, <laughs> be patient with me because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. But my hair is really nice and soft and um, very moisturized. So, Let's see, um, the first thing I usually do is take my goodie brush and I try to just brush it up like this. And I have large bobby pens and I also have the normal size bobby pens. And so I start with the large ones and try to hook as much hair as I possibly can. Not too, not too tight because you don't want it pulling your hair or snagging on your hair. And then we go over here to the other side and we do the same thing. Let's see how this is going to work out. Uh, okay, now from there we just style the rest of the hair with a pick and try not to comb out all your definition and just kind of play around with it until you get it the way you want it and my hair is much longer in the top than it is you know on the side so I definitely got to play around with it if you um, if you see where you need uh, maybe a smaller bobby pen like in the top or in the bottom you can just take a small bobby pen and clip it in there clip it under the hair so it's not visible and I feel like I need one on both sides so hmm let's see okay now we take the pick and we want to just bring the hair down a little bit and this makes me very hot with that hair in my face like that and you'll see me wiping my face because I'm sweating <laughs> and um I take it and utilize it like this and I think this is really cute I want to wear it like this I get um, a lot of compliments on it but if I was to wear this at work like I used to I get very hot you know so I would take the front and like put it in a pompadour like um, the video started and this would be my fro hawk but I mean it's very cute when you pick it out without trying to you know lose your definition and uh, I don't know what do you think you guys tell me uh, I think it's really cute and my definition was really really nice before uh, I took it out but Let's see. See, like here it's starting to fluff up already because I sweat right in the front of my head. So when it gets wet, of course, you know, our hair puffs right up. But for the most part, this is really, really, you know, a cute style. 
and I don't know I've never done it on camera before so I feel a little awkward here but I'm not sure if I have it even or it's grown out a lot more since like I said since the last time I used to do my fro hog so but usually for me when I get hot when you see all this down here in the in the front I usually just take this and lightly two strand twist it and then just like a pompadour you know and just clip it with a one of my clips or I could just take a bobby pin and get that hair out of my face because uh, yeah I get hot I get hot but you can do all kinds of things you can take a bobby pin and clip that down if you don't want that thing sitting up in the top of your head but um, for the most part I just I like it in the beginning to just right there in my in the front looks more like a fro hawk but as you can see the hair is starting to droop already and that will not last all day long so I will have to have um, um, some clips or some bobby pins on me which I always do so that I can flip that up and um, you know put it out of my face because eventually that hair will be drooping and I don't care how many other places that hair could go it's gonna go right in my eyes my big eyes will just suck it in like a vacuum cleaner and that is extremely painful so um, yeah that's the Sadie version of a fro hog and uh, it's raining in North Carolina today so I probably won't keep keep it like this because um, I do have to go out and pick up my mom later on for Sunday dinner but um, so I'll either pull it, pull it up in a in a bun or put it into a princess um, braids and then put my slap cap on it so it doesn't get wet. But these are the breaks when you have natural hair. But the only two utensils I used for that was my goodie brush and my wide comb pick. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with that with you guys. Let me know if you how you like it, if you think it's nice or what. I mean, I just wanted let you guys know how simple you know you can do your hair and the styles you know without so much um, fussing with your hair and these are one of those styles that I go to you know that it's just so simple and so easy and quick but um, I wanted to give a really big shout out for all of my subscribers that have subscribed to my channel I, I am in total total awe I mean, I am so grateful to every, each and every one of you. Um, I wasn't expecting it, and how encouraging you are to me by subscribing and liking my um, videos. And I know I have a long way to go, but I'll get there. I'm teaching myself right now how to... Um, professionally or you know um, edit my videos but you know it takes time I have to keep going back and forth trying until I get it but I know I'm gonna get it because I basically taught myself pretty much everything that I know how to do on the computer and the phone and stuff like that but I am just so overwhelmed and amazed and grateful to each and every one of you that have um, subscribed and are supporting me as I have mentioned before I'm not here for to be monetized or anything like that but wow how truly truly encouraging it is each and every time I look and see I've received another subscriber and as you all subscribe to me I truly will always subscribe excuse me subscribe back to you um, God wants us all to make it you know and it, the world is big enough for all of us and when God blesses us he doesn't want us to keep those blessings to ourselves he wants us to reach back and help someone else and then that person reach back and help someone else that's the whole purpose and all glory and honor goes to God at all times but I just wanted to remember to thank you guys because I am just elated 
and um, I know I don't start or in the middle or in my videos would please like and subscribe because I clearly clearly don't think of it you know because that's not why I'm doing this if somebody truly truly likes your work and, and likes to hear what you're saying or have to say they're just all automatically gonna like and subscribe to your channel but I will get more professional as if I can I mean I will try to remember but it's just not that important to me this is so much for my 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 therapy and and my ability to step out of my comfort zone of feeling so low and so like I said before self-esteem issues so thank you guys thank thank you to all of you um, I wanted to mention something um, it, it just came to me the other day and I'm like what is the biblical meaning of my name has anybody ever looked up their name in the biblical form well I looked up mine and it said Sadie originates in Hebrew language and means princess ladylike it is a diminutive of the name Sarah which means it derives from the name Sarah um, in the Bible Sarah was the wife of Abraham and the mother of Isaac and she was considered a absolutely beautiful woman mind body and spirit I was truly truly <laughs> blushing you know when I saw that because princess ladylike yeah uh, I like being a female, I like being ladylike, but I also can be very tomboyish and stuff like that, but, um, beautiful? Hmm, I never thought of myself as that, but that goes with my self-esteem issues, but if anybody's ever curious, just Google, Google your biblical name, or meaning of your, of, of your name, and I'm telling you, you, you might be amazed at what your name means in the Bible but I just wanted to throw that in there but um, like I said today was going to be a, a small little video because I wanted to come on and show my um, one of my many go-to very easy simple styles that make you look very nice and <sighs> I don't know <laughs> I know I wanted to talk to you guys about something else. I wish I could properly edit my videos, but anyway, um, there's a lot of stuff that I would definitely edit out of here from today's video, but I just uh, pray for everyone. Thank you all for supporting me, and please like and subscribe to my video if you would like to. Um, everybody have a blessed day, and I love you all. Bye-bye.